Hey, good morning everybody. Mason here, Superficial Details. Doing a video to give some insight on a recent post that I made uh, regarding PPF and using the film on solution that is provided by uh, CP Films. Um, I get that from SunTech. Um, they're all big companies together. If you do a little bit of research, you can figure out what's going on. But anyway, um, yeah, it was a post about this about this Corvette on the front end um, where where I did the installation pretty quickly with minimal stretching of anything. One because the patterns are so good, but um, because of the mounting solution. So let's get to that. So, a couple things is the prep and then the proper mixture of the solution in combination with temperature controlled um, slip solution and tack solution. So that was the other part of the video that people were asking about. So the Filmon is a concentrate that is supplied by CP Films. Um, <laughs> It gives you the instructions and everything on the back of exactly what it's for, how to use it, so on and so forth. Um, follow those directions to success. The other thing is the temperature controlling of the water. Um, it's really important to be having the correct temperature um, solutions. Um, just regular straight distilled water. Um, I got to change this label. Um, I'm sorry. Distilled water is different than RO water, which is what I use. I use RO water only, not just distilled water. They are different things. You can look it up and, and figure it out. Um, I have what I call hot water, which is a 90-10 mix of that water and the rubbing alcohol. I have my slippery water, which is my 32 ounces of water to five milliliters of the Filmon. Sometimes you may increase um, the Filmon solution as directed on here, um, right here where it says Filmon may be necessary up to twice the amount of the recommended amount of film on may be necessary for high temperature or low humidity conditions. So you can mess around with that a little bit depending on where your location is and environment, so on. Um, but I have multiple bottles of each one uh, slip solution in here and so on. But the big key is using the Suve um, heater and water circulator. So what this is doing uh, is allowing me to set my temperature. Um, currently it's at 69, 70 degrees. I do a dual check to make sure it's staying where it needs to be. But according to Eastman Chemical Company technical support, shout out to at Lay Some Film With Me, Tiano Allen um, helped me understand that the uh, magical temperature for the SunTech films, and it may apply to Lumar as well um, and other brands, but the magical temperature between 120 to 130 degrees Fahrenheit is where the film wants to be so that it will be pliable and so that you will not damage the adhesive or the top coat layer of the film when you are installing it to get adhesive distortion, to get uh, pre-tack marks, or um, to get the dreaded uh, lift lines and stretch lines and everything because we're using too hot of water to try and uh, get the film to tack or to um, use too 
the improper ratio of alcohol and water for our tax solution where we're damaging and distorting the adhesive um, and causing problems. So I was dealing with that, and that's why I reached out to uh, Tiano finally is uh, I had tried a bunch of different things. I've had a lot of successful installs, but I was still struggling like with mirrors and, and tack locations and things and so forth. So I contacted him. We went over all of the things that I just showed, like what's your solution, what's your ratios, what's um, you know, all these different things. And when we went over all the different boxes to check off, we uh, I, I showed him that I was using this percolator to just have straight hot water for my tack solution because I was trying to get away from the alcohol mixture because of the lines. And as soon as I told him I was using this, and he asked what the temperature was, and I said, I don't know, but it's extremely hot to the point where it will burn your hands when the water comes out. The light bulb went off, and that is when he instantly knew that the temperature was too hot, and it was scoring the adhesive in the top coat and creating problems simply because the water and the ratios were off. Um, and as soon as he told me that, I instantly went out and got the Suve um, water heater and circulator. I picked it up at the local store. This one was about $100 um, from Nesco but he sent me a link for one but i had to make the change right away i went out and got that one i did exactly what he told me to do put water in a bucket heated it up to 130 degrees and you can set the time to uh all day and it will keep it at that constant temperature and then i rotate out bottles of slip and hot water and when i feel it start to cool down because i'll spray the solution on my hands to make sure that it's you know still staying warm and it's warm but it won't it doesn't burn you so that's how you know um the the ease of installation because you're spraying that warm solution on the film right away and it's making it pliable and easier to manipulate so you're not stretching it so hard creating your own problems just by that little bit of lack of uh information will change the installation uh, instantly and it will make it easier it'll be better and you'll go faster because everything is working as they intended for it to be with the proper mixture and temperature and control of everything and I will scream it to everybody that is trying to do PPF and is struggling a little bit. These products work. The film on as directed on the back is better for the installation of the film and the adhesive and everything. Get rid of your baby soap. It's not good for the absorption of the material um, because of the, uh, the, the chemicals that it leaves behind. Um, and doesn't allow the adhesive to grab the way that it is supposed to to the smooth surface of the vehicle. The clarity will improve right away of the installation and you will get installs where it's difficult to notice that the film is there when it's laid properly and you can't really see the edges. Like um, I've had this product for a long time because I would use it for the window tint um, and I just, I never knew that you could use it for the PPF also until Tiano did a reel about it on Instagram. So if you're struggling, reach out to that man. He is a wealth full of knowledge and, uh, a quick FaceTime video chat, um, to go over some of these things that you're struggling with is incredibly important. Don't be embarrassed to reach out. 
Um, it's actually showing a sign of professionalism because you know there's an issue, you want to be better, and you're willing to uh, reach out and you know listen and make that change. So be better, reach out, improve your game, lay better film, get better results, and you will have more fun installing PPF. If you have any questions, I'm a message away. I am more than happy to share the knowledge that I have with my experience, and so is the technical support reps um, for Eastman Materials. Um, step up your game. Let's lay some film.